I'm gonna hit connect and come on! <laughs> All right, guys, so no doubt you're here because you got an error wirelessly connecting to Evoto. I'm using the Sony camera. That's where my instructions are going to be uh, focused on today. I will tell you that if you're using another camera brand, you can just come out to, uh, you can hit this little help center, and that's going to take you to what you need to know to get your particular brand of camera connected. So I'm actually not a genius. I didn't figure this all out on my own. You go out to the help and it will tell you supported camera models and important notes about getting them connected. They have specific instructions for Sony, Canon, Nikon, and Fujifilm. So go check that out. If you don't want to read through the whole Sony documentation, stick around and I'll tell you the three steps you need to do to get past this error if you're already getting it, okay? So the first one is make sure that you are connected to the same network as the computer running Evoto AI. So on my Sony, I will go into the menu to get connected to that network, right? Go into the globe, which is the green globe. Go down to Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi Connect should be set to on. And then if you go down to access point set, that's where you're going to go in. You're going to wait for it. It's going to say standby until you get a list of routers and find your router in that list. Maybe it's the only one. Maybe you have a list of them, right? Find the one you want to connect to. Click on that. Uh, hit enter on that. Um, and that should take you in and give you the option if you've never connected with it before to enter the password. And it's just the same password you would use from a laptop. Okay. So you put that password in, hit enter. And once you do that, if you want to confirm that you're actually made the connection to the router, again, we're still in number five under globe. Go down to display Wi-Fi info. Okay. When you go in there, give it a second. It may be blank initially, but it should uh, eventually fill in with all the IP address information, subnet mask, default gateway. You should see a bunch of numbers there, right? That confirms that you are connected to your router. Uh, if it never works, go back and check your password and try again, okay? So hit menu again to go back out, and that is step one. We've made the connection to the actual router, and once you get through that first step, you should be able to go into the wireless tethering area, and you should see your camera connected, right? And this is where everything goes downhill, at least it did for me. Uh, when I hit that connect button, that's when the error comes up, and I can tell you no matter how many times you hit connect, it's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask me how I know okay so you've got to make some changes so uh, second step okay we're gonna go in and change a couple things here there's actually um, two changes we need two more changes we need to make so go back into the globe uh, go back into your menu and we're going to uh, go into we need to turn off a certain setting and the instructions if you're following them on Evoto the support document they take you to number eight Mine is number nine. Probably I have a newer firmware than what they used in the instructions. But in any case, go to network option. Okay. And in network option, go to access authentication settings and make sure to turn that to off. If you go in there and it's grayed out, it'll tell you you can't change it because remote shoot setting is on. So you're like, oh, okay. Sony, I swear with your menus, they're, they're, they're better, but still. So now I got to go back out if that was the case. Um, otherwise, just turn it off if you can change it. But I got to go out and I got to go back to the globe, go into number one and make sure remote shoot is set to off. If it's set to on, change it to off. Then go back to number eight or nine network option. Go back to access authentication settings and you should be able to toggle it to off if it was on. OK, so that is the second step. Third step is set up the pairing okay so we're going to go into the globe again obviously and we want to go into number one the first option remote shoot control remote shoot and then go into the second option called remote shoot function and in here you're going to see the second option it's called pairing okay so click on pairing and allow the device to pair at this point uh, device name with mac address and it should just go through that procedure and pair the device and once that's done you should now be able to go back to uh, evoto into the wireless tethering you should still see your camera model you should be able to hit connect and get a successful connection okay 
Now, what happens when I turn the camera off and turn it back on? Do I have to go through a bunch of steps? The answer is no. As long as your camera can make a connection to the Wi-Fi router, I don't have to do anything, it just does it. The camera will come up listed again. I can hit connect and it will just work. The other thing I wondered was, I set all this up at home, right? On my Wi-Fi router, just testing it out. What happens when I go to the studio, which is on a different PC, on a different router, completely everything's different. What's gonna happen there? Well, when you go to another one, you've got to go into your access point settings, remember in the globe, uh, go in there and you're gonna have to connect to that router from your camera, right? Because it's a completely different router than what I have at home. And you're gonna have to find the router, select it, put in your password like we did earlier. Am I gonna have to go through these step two and three where I do this other stuff? I didn't have to, it just worked. So I think the pairing step two and three, once those are set in your camera, it allowed it to work on another access point, no problem. So, and you know, I can turn the camera off over there as well and it reconnected just fine, okay? That is all there is to it. If this helped you out, give it a like, uh, leave a comment. If you have any questions, um, I, I'm not Evoto support, um, but you can reach out to them and they're pretty responsive. So go out to evoto.ai and they have a support link out there and you can uh, generate a ticket and they generally get back to you pretty quickly in, in my experience. So they have really good customer service as well and they should be able to help you out with any issues that you have. Thanks again for watching and I will come out with more Evoto videos soon, especially on the new features in Evoto 6. So looking forward to that. Have a good one. Bye.